man formula and I can pull with MD. Uh, I'm a hit in thy tree. Don't buy creeps in the field, we heat. I'm a hit in thy tree. Don't buy me. Hey, there we go. We're back on it. All right, cool. I'll kick this off again, yeah? All right, okay. So, apologies for that. I'll stuck in there with the midnight if you just joined or whatever. Um, it was my fault. I didn't realize there was so much copyright infringement with uh, with just beatboxing a cover version of a song. So I won't do any covers. Like we're not doing any covers. Yes, back in the room. We got Jim and him. Yes, let's go. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna carry on. Do some uh, do some beatboxing. Hope you're all good and safe wherever you are. Thank you very much for tuning in. Big up to Span Arts, Park Mari Span Arts. I'm a, I'm a medical holiday for the invite. So let's just get into something and then we'll take it from there. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Transformation roll out. Winger. Okay, well this time the screen didn't freeze, <clears throat> so I'm assuming it's down to the copyright thing. Okay, so <clears throat> thanks for tuning in. Uh, NVD Ed Holder, my name's Ed Holder, Mr. Formula. And uh, yeah, feel free to chuck in some comments or whatever big up wingers. I saw that coming in, lovely. So um, we'll do a little session today in the art from a beatboxing. Rosh Yang and all you're gonna need is your voice. Uh, if you've got microphone and speakers, you wanna wind people up, that's cool. But if you haven't, it's all good. You're just gonna make noise here. Yeah? You will be making silly shapes with your mouth as well, but don't worry about that because no one can see you unless you're just with your friends or whatever yeah, in the actual room. Okay, so here we go. We're going to kick this off then with what we call bass. So if you're not entirely sure what bass is, it's the low frequencies, yeah? So Sunay Isal, low frequencies. So I live on the side of the road here. Yeah? So if you imagine a car passing the side of the road with music blasting really loud, what I'd hear through the walls is the bass, right? It's the low sound and it would sound like this. Hopefully it'll come across okay Uh on the on the phone so here we go oh, it's John all right John <laughs> all right cool that's bass yeah so I'm sure you all you're all aware of what bass is all right when I beatbox I do about 10 different bass sounds we need to add deg so I'm just gonna show you um, I'm gonna show you most of them and you guys can try them out go okay so number one then we call this a nasal bass right because you use your nose and come right, we say bass through in, yeah? So, if I hold the mic to the side, if I go like this, so my mouth, right? So if I go, da 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 doesn't sound very good, right? But if you do exactly the same thing, but from your nose, not your mouth, so do it from here. That sounds a lot better, yeah? So before I show you uh, why we do that, can we then say, I want you to try it, all right? So put your hand on your keg, on your mouth, right? And then out of your nose, really low, I want you to go, da da but from your nose. Yeah. Try that. Okay. So at the minute, you may be thinking to yourselves, why are we sitting here with this random weird guy going, <coughs> yeah, there is actually a reason, y'all. There is a reason for this. So, nasal bass. If I hold the mic to the side, I'll come a bit closer. Right, if I go like this. 
The noise is coming from my nose, right? <laughs> but the beat always has to come from here, my Kiria Dovama, okay? So if I'm making a the noise there, the beat there, they're separate, that means you can do them at the same time. So, <laughs> nose, <laughs> mouth, then together. Noise there, beat there, okay? Cool, leave that in number two. We call this oscillation. I come right, we say oscillia, yeah? Really simple, put your lips together like this, all right? Relax your lips and then blow so your lips vibrate, okay? Or dear grinning. Yeah? You ready? So try this out with me after four, yeah? One, two, three, four. Okay? Just relax your lips. Put that in a beat, works really well with fast beats like drum and bass. Number three, leave three. What do you do when you, sleep, uh, when you sleep apart from sleep? You snore, very good. All right, so we call this a snore bass, or bass khwirni, we say in Kamarai, yeah? First of all, Pifkinta, you want to snore. So try that, the snore in there. Next thing, without snoring, just say the word bow. Say bow, cool, bow. Now do bow, but don't say it, like this, okay? And what you want to do now, right, is snore, but go at the same time. You get this? Try that out, yeah? After four. One, two, three, four. Cool. Simple, right? You're beatboxing. So that's three bass sounds, okay? So I'm going to show you a few more. Um, so this next one is what we call uh, bass gudu, or throat bass, okay? Because it comes from here. And it's quite difficult to explain, but the way you the way you learn how to do this, right, is uh, it's similar to coughing without stopping, okay? But what I mean by that, I don't mean like, um, you know, when you're a kid and you do a machine gun. <coughs> I don't mean one of them, right? What 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 you have to do is cough without stopping, right? So it sounds like this. <clears throat> See the way my voice is sounding like that? Yeah, that sounds quite weird, right? But the more you do that, the more you learn to relax your throat. And when you relax your throat, you can change the tone and pitch, right? So watch this. <clears throat> goes like this, and then the more you relax your throat, it goes down, down, sounds more like a robot. That sounds quite cool. But if you go even lower, you can make yourself sound like Optimus Prime and Transformation Rollout. Right? So it comes from here, yeah? So when I put that into a beat, okay, for example, if I use my lips, okay, so this is like um, an example of multitasking and beatbox now. If I use my lips and go... You hear the silence in between? When I uh, the stout is wrong a sun eye, yeah? In that silence, if I fill it with the throat sound, so you switch from your lips to your throat. But if you speed that up, cool. So that's what we call a throat bass, yeah? Okay, next up, um, we're going to use what we call um, right a chest space, okay? So, throat base is here, chest space is more like lower down, yeah? So, it's more like um, diaphragm, yeah? So, I'll show you from the throat base down. This throat base, go down. Put that in the beat. Then I show you uh, the final one, which is what we call a vibration bass or bass dirgrenyad. And um, I'm not entirely sure how I do this, but loads of beatboxers I know that um, they do it, but it always sounds different, right? And it's, um, I'm not sure, I don't know how I do it. It comes from the chest for me, and then I use my throat somehow. But it sounds like this. So it's quite low, so it works really well for grime, yeah? Right, so that's a bunch of different bass sounds. Next so then, I mean, the Kelko never sound effects, we're gonna do some sound effects. And this first one got me into loads of trouble uh, when I was in school. 
when I was at home or just j just basically everywhere. It just won't wound me up everywhere. Yeah? So, uh, so feel free if you want to wind people up with it, go for it. It's nothing to do with me though if you do, all right? Okay, here we go. Siren. So when I was a kid, I used to go like this. Nina, Nina. Classic siren sound, right? Then I got older, learned how to do this next one. And um, it sounds like this. <coughs> warning, warning. <coughs> sound like it's passing cool <laughs> all right so the way you do this sound right um first of all you will look silly doing this yeah but that's the beauty of us doing it online like this <laughs> no one else is gonna hardly see you so first of all you've got to go like this to your lips yeah go like this like that yeah so it's just like making a circle with your lips like that okay <laughs> I'm just seeing myself in the screen. I feel like such an idiot. So you're going like this, okay? Right. Next thing you want to do, put your top teeth, I right, these, against your bottom lip, right? So you look like this, right? So you look like that, okay? All right, like this. Next thing you want to do, right? That's half of the trick right there. The next thing is to not move your mouth. If you move your mouth, the trick doesn't work. Keep it right? And from your chest, right? You've got to push your voice out. Don't go like this. That's not going to work. You literally want to go like this, but don't move your mouth, right? So go like this, right? Then without moving your mouth, push your voice out. Yeah? You ready? Let's try this out after four. You ready? I want everyone that's watching, all 12 of you to do this at the same time. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Yeah? Wicked. Hopefully you've done that and uh, hopefully it came it came across okay, yeah? So that's what we call a siren. Then I said then you need... Soon say then. So then Nessa, the next one, we're using the same technique, a in technic, right? But this time we're doing what we call an air horn, okay? <coughs> air horn. So go like this. Okay, so and then you're in the we're, we're doing the circle again, fella. Okay? Top teeth against the bottom lip, fella. But this time, right, project your voice again from here. But this time you want to go really low, right? So don't go, <coughs> don't do that. You just want to go. Dun, like this, really low, but don't move your mouth. <coughs> right, you ready? After four, we'll do it all together, yeah, if we can. One, two, three, four. <coughs> did that work? Hopefully it did, yeah? Cool, okay, lovely. So, uh, Nessa, next up, we've got one of my favorite sound effects. So, this is called a water drop, drop door. Like, um, trick really, it's a difficult trick to do, and there's different ways of doing it as well. But um, I'll show you the way that I've uh, that I've got it, and then we'll um, and then we'll see. If, I'll just try and teach it to you, okay? So uh, basically, loads of people go like this, yeah. I don't know if you've seen that. They tap here with their finger, and they make a water drop. I've been trying to do that since I was a kid. Like, uh, I'm really that some do my For some reason, I'm just not able to do it. I don't know why. No idea. But I learned how to do it a different way. So I'll show you first, and I'll explain it. So it sounds like this. Put that in the beat. Okay. All right, so the way you do this, when I die bath, there's two things you have to do, right? And, um, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you the two things separately. And then I'll, I'll sort of explain to you how we put those together. All right, so the first thing you've got to do, right, is with your tongue, all right, is put it against the, the roof of your mouth, just behind your top teeth, okay? Like that. And then what you do is suck your tongue, right? But don't use your lungs. You don't, don't use your lungs. You just want to go like that. Literally just, just sucking your tongue. That's all it is, okay? The second thing you have to do, Jan, at the, um, you, you want to, um, Right, so leave that first bit. What you want to do now, right, is say the word wit without saying wit, right? So, it's just literally pushing air out from your mouth. Again, not from your lungs, because it won't work, right? You've got to do it from here. Right? So the first sound, second sound, right? This is the difficult bit. Those two things have to happen at exactly the same time. Okay, so that and that, same time.
Yeah, it's a really difficult one. I don't even get it every time. It's a tricky one. Um, I know where the beatboxers that do it, and they do it in a different way. Um, and I think it's easier for them, but it takes longer for them to learn it that way. So I haven't got to that to that uh, point. Like I just do it that way. Um, and then uh, yeah, I, yeah. So if anyone else knows how to do a water drop in a different way, let me know. Yeah, send a link or whatever. Beatbox is all about uh, improving and, and uh, developing. So if you can help me out, that'd be awesome. All right. Next sound effect. In Cymraeg, then you get and hovrenid. We call this helicopter. Uh, and um, let's try this out. See how it sounds in here. I'm not sure how it's going to sound. But uh, if anyone could give me a comment on the sound, actually, that'd be quite helpful. Um, if you reckon it sounds good, whatever, give me a thumbs up or just say, yeah, sound is cool or whatever. Anyway, hovrenid, helicopter. Let's try this out. So, hover ended helicopter. The way we do this, right? Okay. So when you beatbox, you've got um, you've got loads of sounds like you've heard me do, but there's only two ways you can make any sound, all right, in beatbox, um, or pretty much just in general. There's only two ways, okay? First of all, you can blow air out and make a noise. That's all going out, or you can breathe in and make a noise, right? We call that inward, okay? So outward sounds push air out. Inward sounds. Breathing air in, okay? So, melnol, inward, ashanol, outward, right? So, a uh, helicopter, a hovrenid, is a continuous inward, right? So, there's no, um, there's, there's like, there's no uh, blowing out or anything, okay? It's all just, it's just one long breath, okay? But the trick is, is to build up pressure. Because when you build up the pressure, it means you can take a slow breath, but you, you can build up a lot of pressure, which means there's a lot of energy in, in the breath. I know this all sounds like bananas okay <laughs> just let me explain it to you so first of all if you imagine this is the roof of my mouth right so i'll hold it to the side like that okay my tongue's there flat under my under the roof of my mouth curl your tongue back like that put it against the roof of your mouth all right and then what you do is right if you breathe in against your tongue then through the front of your mouth if you get the air just right your tongue will start to vibrate against the roof of your mouth like this Okay, once you get, that's the first piece. Once you get to that, all right, what you do is then, your tongue is flat like this, against the roof of your mouth, you move it to the side, right? So your tongue uh, is like, aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, this is hilarious. I'm just seeing myself doing what I'm actually doing to the screen, it's hilarious. So you go like that, aha, uh -huh. all right? And close your mouth, and leave a tiny gap over here. You have to have a small gap right up. And then if you breathe in against that gap, if you do it properly, you'll get this. Hey, Denbyshire, how's it going? Hope you're all good. Who's there, man? Is it Wills? Is it Wendy? Who's there? Cool. But anyway, uh, Denbyshire, you service, man. Nice, welcome. Good to hear from you guys. Hope you're all safe, yeah? So you're going like this. Oh, it's Wills. Hey, Wills. Class. Right, so we're going like this. Now, cool. So that's the helicopter of what I need. Okay, uh, I'll show you a couple more sound effects. So at Nesma, this next one, right, we've done some difficult ones now, so this can be a quite an easy one for you, all right? So we call this Kiryat Kalon Heartbeat, all right? So it goes like this. Cool. The way we do this, really simple sound, right? So obviously it's not my hat, obviously, okay? Um, the microphone is what gives you like the bigger sound here, but I'll just explain it to you without that first. So the sound is from here, and the way you get this is um, it's simple. It's basically like swallowing. You're not actually swallowing, okay, but it's similar. So you're not going, ooh, ooh. you're not doing that. 
you're sort of going like mm, go like mm, mm, mm. yeah so it's similar it's not swallowing as such you're just going like it's similar to mm, go. Mm, mm. it's air in the throat right mm, mm. you see my throat here Right, um, and then it's basically you do that twice, leave a gap, do it twice, leave a gap, do it twice, right? So it's. <laughs> right, um, and then what happens with the microphone to make the sound bigger and better? Again, I don't know how it sounds to you guys, like on your on screens. When you beatbox, you've got to hold the mic a certain way, okay? It's important to explain this because it makes the heartbeat sound better. So, it's a dynamic microphone. If I make a beat straight into it, it's not going to sound as good. But, but, um, I'm not sure how it's going to sound again for you, but... Right? But if I open up my hand and hold it around the top, like this, right? That creates what we call a proximity effect, okay? And what it means is that it goes loads louder, so I'm in lot ugh, right? And then it um, it gives you a, a bigger sound as a beatboxer, okay? It muffles the sound up, so I'll just, hopefully this will work. I'll move my hand and just close it, and hopefully you'll hear the difference, yeah? that made the made, made the difference yeah so that's what we call a proximity effect right so it's important when you beatbox that you hold you hold your hand around the top like this okay that's going to make the difference between a, a, a good sound and a, and a bad sound right um, alternatively if you're rapping or singing you don't want to hold the mic like this often rappers do right and i've done it myself you hold the mic like this yeah yeah because we're dropping the rapper door because i'm gonna rap blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> right and basically when you hold it like that it muffles your voice so when, you, when you're rapping or singing, you hold it like this. That's how you want to hold it. So it sounds a bit clearer, right? You can hear, hopefully you can hear my voice clearer like this rather than holding it like that where it sounds muffled. Okay. So, all right, that's the heartbeat and a little microphone explanation as well, dynamic microphones. So um, another little sound effect. Again, quite a simple one. Key and kavath or dog bark, right? So um, a lot of the time people think you go woof. Yeah, you do. But you want to do it inward, right? So does anyone remember what inward is? Hopefully you remember what that is. Yeah, so soon mel nol, inward sound. You're breathing in, right? So you do a dog bark, but you do it when you breathe in, the anatoly, okay? Yeah, I'm sure my neighbors are outside listening to this and just going, what on earth is he doing in there? All right, so you're going woof, but you're breathing in. Yeah. All right, let's try this out together after four. You ready? In, die, three, Pedro. Cool. Usually at this point, I do a, a song, uh, like a cover version song where it utilizes that dog back, where it's who let the... Uh -huh. I'm not actually going to do it because that first time I tried that, the whole screen froze up, so I'm not going to do that again, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. So, um, we're going to move along, um, and we're going to go into this, uh, into this final piece. We're going to see if we, can, if we can pull this off, right? So, we're going to play a little game, and uh, I'm going to do um, different theme tunes and songs with my voice, okay? And you guys, ooh, how is this going to work, actually? Hang on. I'm not actually sure if, if this is going to work, because it might be... Uh, might have copyright infringement, I just thought. Hmm. What shall I do? Shall I try it out? What do I do? Uh what do you guys think? Span out spit the clean metal. Do I try it? And see if it works? I mean we could try it. We could try it. Um try it anyway. John Wright says try it anyway. Oof. Yeah? Okay, John Wright, I'm sticking with you, mate. We're gonna we're gonna try this out. So, um, what we're gonna do then is I'm gonna do a TV program on voice or a film. You've got to tell me what the program is. Yeah. Um, obviously you can't tell me here. You can type it in if you want, but you can just write it down on a piece of paper at home or whatever. Uh, and I'll give you like what four seconds um, to get the answer to write it down. Yeah. And then we'll just see how it goes. If you get it correct, <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> yeah. Quite simple. All right, let's try this out. 
Yoch, John Wright. Yes, John Wright answered it for us. He's the man with the plan. Cool. If anyone's got any questions as well while we're doing this, yeah, just like, like, just type in whatever and just post a comment or whatever, yeah. Okay, so um, let's try this out. We'll start with an easy one, like a little test run, and hopefully we won't get knocked off, yeah. Let's try this out. <laughs> John Wright's the man with the heat. He's got it. That was EastEnders. <laughs> Atab Kowid, correct answer. And we didn't get knocked off the stream either. So we've learned something new here. Okay, so yeah, that was EastEnders. All right. Let's get let's get going and let's try some more. <laughs> seconds one two three four that was postman pat oh that's wills though wills man you all you, wills knows these <laughs> yes postman is going blink yeah cool yes uh wills man i know you're gonna get most of these right mate but fair play you can like you deserve it it's all good all right let's keep doing some more <laughs> actually Will's his favourite. Alright, sorry Will's. Four seconds. One, two, three, four. That was Telly Tubbies. <laughs> telly Tubbies. <laughs> Alright, let's do some more. <laughs> Bit trickier this time, yeah? Answers are coming in at once. Yeah, Scooby Doo. All right, let's do some more. <laughs> do a tricky one now. John Wright. Oh, you got skills, John. It was Inspector Gadget. Alright, we're going to do some trickier ones, though. Let's try this one out. Alright, before I do it, there's two programs with the same song. Alright, so I'll take any one of those programs, okay? There may even be more programs, I'm not sure. Nah, I'll do my countdown as well. So four seconds, here we go. Oh, hang on. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Jim and Hugh got it. Oh, Angela, I'm sorry, it wasn't Dad's Army. It was uh, The Great Escape. But uh, you were very close. <laughs> you were very close, Dad's Army. very close. I'm not sure how Dad's Army goes, actually. Uh, how does that go? How does Dad's Army go? It's very similar. It's very similar. All right, let's do another one. Any idea what that one was? 
John Wright again. <laughs> and what well, it's like, as soon as they see John Wright's answer, Angela's like directly there straight away with it. So proper going in on this one. It's close, man. I'm not sure what the scores are, but you guys are close. All right, um, I'm going to do a trick here one. So I can catch you up with this one. You ready for this one, John Wright? This one's for you and Angela. Here we go. You ready? Um, forgotten how it goes. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, I got it. Here we go. What's that one then? <laughs> Any idea? I'll give you a clue if you want. I know you're not there to tell, like, to answer me, like, but, um... I'll give you a clue. I'll give you like a couple of seconds. If I don't see an answer, I'll give you a clue, yeah? Okay, so here's a clue for you. Um, it's three words, right? So something, she, something, right? And the first word... <laughs> yeah, I know you know, Wills. <laughs> I know you know, Wills. You can post it, Wills. Go for it, man. Tell them. All right, so it's basically the first word, if you spell it backwards, is red rum, right? Hey, John Wright, got it. There we go, Moody. <laughs> and span arts directly under it. There we go. <laughs> cool, yeah. It was Moody she wrote. Sorry, Angela, you were like third that time. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, let's keep doing a few more, yeah? Um, let's try an easy one. You ready for this one? Nice and easy. Light Shiva. Star Wars, yes, for the Light Shiva. <laughs> Star Wars, yeah. Alright, let's do it all. Try and think of a good one for you now. Um, okay. Any idea what that one was? It's quite a tricky one. But I'll give you some clues if you want it. Yeah. Okay, here's a clue. So, um, colours black and white, orange beak. Yeah. <laughs> Talk like this. It's very cold there as well. Uh, it's five letters. Yes, yeah, five letters. Um, any guesses? Nah. <laughs> John Wright. Wow. I've got to say at the minute, I think John Wright is. Uh, I think John Wright's in the lead. Sorry, Angela. I know you keep fair play. You keep smashing the answers out. But John just gets. <laughs> he just gets there first. He must be just like. <laughs> Straight away. Right, let's do a couple more. Then we'll wrap it up. Excuse the pun. Wee. All right, here we go. watching this one this afternoon it's a movie john williams does the music hey john right again <laughs> too good john me oh sorry sorry finn and donnelly um john williams does the music for superman as well as indiana jones so they all sound very familiar he did et and stuff as well close and cows the third kind and all them so they all sound quite familiar so uh but yeah but indiana jones and uh was the answer all right We'll do two more, yeah? Okay, um, trying to think of a good one for you now. All right, try this one out. Any idea what that one was? I'll give you a clue if you want one. No problem. All right. I'll give you a clue, yeah? So, um, one of the main clues for this is it's a cartoon and there's a talking baby in it that's extremely intelligent. That's a pretty big, big clue. Second clue, 
<laughs> As a second clue. <laughs> uh, it's hilarious just seeing my face doing these things in the screen. Hilarious. Any idea? Nah, I'll give you four seconds, right? One, oh. John Wright in it. Hey, and Gwyneth have Holden got it as well. Dion have. Yeah, family guy. Awesome, you all got that one. All right, final one then. Let's try this last one. Um, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll wrap it up with an easy one. You ready for this one? We'll do it once more. And uh, you guys just shout it out wherever you are, yeah? Batman. Lovely. Okay, cool. So, um, I reckon we, we probably finish it up there. So, all right. So, Dirk and Bionic and Geek, thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, this has been an absolutely awesome experience for me. I've never tried this before. Big out, uh, big shout outs to Wills there on the Devilish U service. Uh, Will's giving me some tips about how to set this set up as well. Um, and again, massive shout out to Spana, still come out of the Um Hopefully, it's all been cool for you guys and we haven't had too many glitches. Um, apart from that first uh, little freeze frame problem, which was a, a, a valuable learning uh, curve. So I'm glad I learned that about the copyright thing. Um, so anyway, everyone stay safe where you all are. I can, um, hopefully, like bars will be coming down or we'll be doing uh, we'll be doing a show with Span Arts real soon. Hey, I'm glad you all enjoyed. Thank you, man. Thank you, Jim and Hu, Angela, Elliot. No probs. Um, so hopefully we, we'll be coming down to Span Arts when this all blows over and uh, we'll be having some fun. We can now actually do it all in person, yeah? So yeah, so thank you everyone for joining in. And um, yeah, stay safe. And I will see you all soon, yeah? Nice one. Take care, pal.